Hi. I woke up. Just came outside. And both of the cats are just sitting here. Were you waiting for me to wake up, Nogo? See, they're so good, they know they're not allowed in our room. So, like, even when the door is open, they'll, like, pop their head in here. But if I say no, they don't come in. But they're so curious, because they never get to come in here. Were you waiting for me to wake up, Nogo? That's so sweet. Oh my gosh, my nails, like, glow in the dark, I swear. Hi, sweet boy. Good morning. All right, let's go get some coffee. Come on. Let's go. Come on. I love when I can hear their little... Are you coming? No? I love their little, like, paw prints. Or, like, paw steps down the stairs. Good morning, Angel. Hi. Oh, he comes to think. I can hear his little baby footprints. Wow, whole crew's here. Nice. You just a little bit needy for love today, now, girl. I understand. Is that not love, now, girl? You, it's just... <laughs> I got my coffee. Brought it upstairs. Because I need to fold all of this laundry. So I'm going to do this. And then... Today's the day I, um... Decided to like deep clean the laundry room But I think I've kind of mentioned this before as I was doing like some of the other tasks on my list like Dusting and cleaning the baseboards and wiping down the doors like all those little things I kind of included the laundry room in that while I was doing those things so like I've already cleaned the baseboards in there I've already bleached and resealed the grout in there. I've already wiped down like the walls in there like around the litter box i've already dusted like next to behind between underneath the washing machine so i've kind of done a lot of the things in there so it's actually probably going to be a really quick little project i want to clean the washing machine like the inside of it so i have vinegar and baking soda i've i see a couple different ways online on how to clean it so i'm going to like clean it and try to like scrub the actual machine itself and then like take a wipe to the outside of the machines and just wipe those down i think my main thing is i don't want to like take any time to chill right now because i'd r rather than like doing you know a bunch of stuff and then like chilling for part of the day i think what i feel like in my mind i'd rather do is just go ham every day just like cleaning 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 the whole day long so that i can just get through this freaking list so that I'm just done with the list and I just don't have to think about it and then the rest of this quarantine however long it is I can just like mostly chill but like just film a bunch and edit a bunch and just enjoy being outside it's just gonna start getting nicer and nicer each day and just do like normal cleaning around the house and reading and like just all the other stuff that I really haven't made time to do because I've been cleaning so much that's kind of my mentality I don't know if that makes any sense I also cleaned this thing for our mop for like the first time in forever and it literally looks brand freaking new so that's excellent all right let's fold this once those are good and done i'm gonna slide we're gonna slide them over onto their Okay, I'm just finishing up putting the laundry away, but I actually just, uh, my cabinet company called. <laughs> I was like waiting on that phone call because I think I want to get another like shelf and some brackets. I need to put you down for a second to expand up, like kind of upwards, I guess, like in one of our cabinets under the stove. I feel like we could like make better use of the space above like in the top half of the cabinet but there's no shelf there so i'm seeing if i can um, order another shelf and some clips from them i was just on dsw they're doing 40 percent off I, when this video goes up i'm sure it's probably not happening anymore 40 percent off and then i had a five dollar reward so i got shoes for like 
damn near 50% off, which is crazy. So that was a really good deal because I need some like, I needed some like workout shoes. So I ordered a pair of New Balance like running shoes. And then I also got just like a really cute, they're more like athleisure. I don't know that I'll actually work out in them. Um, pair of Reeboks because I'm just like obsessed with Reeboks. And they were on a really good deal. I got them for like 20 bucks. So now the long. So loud right now. I don't even know if I can like explain what I did. I feel like I need to wait until the washer like chills out. Oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I kind of showed what I did. Okay. I guess I'll wait. This, this thing is going. Whoa. Hopefully that'll get it clean. So a few interesting things happened today. The IRS set up their like track my stimulus check website. So I finally just got in because you have to wait a while to like get access to it. But I got in, it says that they have like my bank information, which is what I'm covering and that I'm eligible for the payment, so that's good. And then I also just went on and checked the unemployment website, because I just check that like every day or every other day, like just to see if there are any changes. And it's good that I do, because there's always like something randomly different, and there uh, there doesn't seem, at least not yet, I've, it's been like two, just over two weeks that I started getting payments from them, and they just seem to like deposit money so randomly, like it's not even a consistent number of days or a certain day of the week, it's literally whenever, but they just deposited two weeks worth of the extra $600, I think it's the retro pay from the last two weeks. I, I read that they weren't gonna start issuing those till the end of this week, but it's Wednesday and they already deposited that, so that's cool. I have no idea when this stimulus check is gonna come in. It literally says like, once we have your payment date, we'll let you know, but they don't have a date on there, which is fine, but at least my bank information is in there, so they know where to deposit it. I'm gonna show you guys the laundry room once the machine is done. You had to do like a pretty long cycle at the hottest temperature, so I feel like it's gonna probably be going for a while. I'm actually gonna start working out, I think down in like this room. Ken is doesn't really want me to work out upstairs because I'm jumping around a lot, and he might be right that it's not really good to 
jump around a ton like on a floor that's like not the foundation of your house you know I, he can hear the like the ceiling shaking around and i'm sure like 150 pound me is not gonna like bust through the floor but it's probably not a good thing to do so i'm gonna start working down, out down here which i actually think is a good idea because i still have like a little table where i can set up my ipad and my water bottle and my phone for when i record my workouts but i actually think it's gonna work out better because we have this huge closet here that like opens french doors and there's nothing in there there's not a single thing in that closet is 100 percent empty so it's actually kind of a good thing because like i have my yoga mat i have the um cat litter my gym bag i have like a ton of stuff that i use when i work out and upstairs is just kind of convenient because it's in my bedroom but at the same time there's really nowhere to store that stuff like i keep my yoga mat just like shoved in my closet and then the cat litter like next to our bed like dresser bed area and my gym bag just like shoved in the same area with the cat litter so like there's kind of just stuff everywhere and then i always have to remember to come down here and get my ipad and get my water so working out down here is actually going to be kind of convenient the only thing that's nice is up there we have the fan but there's two windows right here i can just open the windows if i'm high so it's actually way more convenient to just keep all this stuff here where we have the room for it and it could just be like a dedicated little closet for that and everything else is just kind of conveniently located down here so and it is probably better there's pretty much the same amount of space in here i think so it should be fine and then if it doesn't work out keeping my ipad on that table i can also always keep it on my desk or actually i could even just play the workouts on my laptop now that i'm thinking about it because my laptop is a way bigger screen and way louder so actually maybe i don't even need my ipad anymore it's like nice and bright down here too because the sun rises on the side of the house and i work out in the morning so anyway now that i've been talking for forever that's the update of what's going on oh one other thing actually that i need to mention ken's dad is having a pretty major surgery today so um he's actually going in in like an hour and a half so we're a little bit nervous but honestly everything's gonna be totally fine we feel very confident and he's in good hands so um hopefully everything goes well which i'm sure it will i'm gonna say some extra prayers and then hopefully we'll hear back from them in a couple hours i guess okay only potential problem with this <laughs> the cats are not in my room so i'm gonna have an audience and potentially some interrupters no sankey see told ya <laughs> Oh my gosh, I still have half an hour left. Oh my god. About to vlog. Did I finish my workout? Oh, cool. And that your dad's into surgery? That was an hour long workout. Over an hour. I burned 650 calories. So I can eat literally whatever I want today. I'm not going to, but I can. Which is exciting. I've also lost two pounds over the last week, which is what I was shooting for. Ken also lost two pounds over the last week. We're losing. Hey. Very consistent. Well, he's very consistent. Me, not so much. But two pounds is about what you can realistically shoot to do. So, and guess what? My move ring and my exercise ring are both closed. Oh, let's go. And I didn't even have lunch yet, so that's pretty good. I need to go shower. My hair is disgusting. I'm disgusting. Okay. Oh, it's you're gonna get your socks all wet. Ken is wanting to get me some cheese fries, so he's gonna pick a card, any card. What's the selection? Uh, Tender's Fresh Food. That's oh, nice. perfect. What? Go to the menu. What kind of cheese fries is it? Yeah, let's check this out. Well, uh, I can't remember. But this was zucchini fries. That sounds good. Hand-breaded fresh zucchini with choice of sauce. So I think that's why I put it on there. French fries seasoned with our signature sea salt blend. I mean, you can get both and try yeah. both. I think that's why it's, I think this isn't one of the ones that I put on my list with like a little asterisk. That's like okay. Included because it's close, but yeah. Oh, yeah, well their menu is just looks good in general. We can pick some stuff out. Right. Cool, good job, honey. Here is today's OOTD. I love having, got me soaked, but I love having clean hair. It's actually kind of funny because this hoodie and these leggings are like kind of the same color, so it actually kind of matches. These are like the comfiest leggings ever from Amazon. I can link these for y'all. They are the best, they're my favorite. I actually had an idea, this wasn't even on my list or anything, but I think I wanna just wash all my bras. Cause like they're just all need to be like thoroughly washed on their own, deep clean. So I think I'm just gonna throw those in on their own cycle.
These are my zucchini noodles. I basically just zucchini into noodles and then put like tomato sauce. It's literally like no calories and it's so good. Went through here and made sure everything that is not highlighted is like assigned out to, you know, a certain day in my planner. I just like doing that so that like when I get to the day, I know what I have to do and it's already like kind of predetermined rather than me like sitting there trying to figure out what I should do today. And then it also makes me feel like I can spread it out kind of evenly so that I'm not like doing a ton a certain day and kind of make it a little bit balanced. And so it looks like by like less than a week, maybe a week from today, this whole thing, well, the whole thing as far as we can do it should be done. So that's exciting. Honestly, that workout took up such a huge chunk of the day. So I'm kind of glad I don't have like a million things going on today, but I'm exhausted from that workout. Though. like i'm really tired and i'm so full like that little thing well it wasn't that little but that container of eggplant noodles literally made me so stuff but they're so good uh, can we just talk about this target box for a second it's literally like got holes everywhere like what the heck happened to this box yo oh man i hope nothing in it is broken Look who got her hands on these massive bottles of dilutable cleaner. So even though these are huge, they're like really like triple the size because you dilute this. So I'm never going to need to buy all-purpose cleaner ever again, which is so exciting. And then the other package was actually some clothes. Uh, I better put those upstairs. And I'm going to try those on. I just didn't feel like getting undressed and trying them on, but I'm going to try those on later. I just took my bras out of the washer and, and I was going to... um try to bleach the washing machine drum again because I ran bleach through it and the stain didn't come up. It looks like it was like a stain from like jeans. You know how like jeans leave like a navy blue stain? It looked like it was that. So I was like after my bras are done I'll bleach it. And then I took my bras out and now the bleach or now the stain is gone. But I didn't put any additional bleach in the machine with the bras. So I don't know if just washing the bras helped get the stain off. I have no idea. I mean I'm happy the stain is gone. But I didn't do anything to get the stain off. Okay, we got our <laughs> random free Amazon delivery for today. And it's this... It's funny, because yesterday the thing that was like that foot rest, I thought was a posture thing. And then today actually came a posture thing. So that was kind of a weird coincidence. But Ken has actually always wanted something like this. He's wearing it right now. These are like weird extra pieces that we have no idea what these extra pieces are for. But he's wearing it right now, and he's always wanted this. So <laughs> I guess this is kind of interesting. I've also been like working on figuring out how we're gonna do our laundry room. I've literally been working on this for like two hours, like running up and down the stairs, measuring stuff, Googling stuff. It's actually like way more complicated than it seems like it should be. Woo, baby! Everything went gangbusters super good. I He's told you. Recovery. It went super well, woo! Far and time. This is weird. Okay, so do you guys remember how it was literally only like, I think two or three days ago that I called um, because my like jewelry cleaner that I had bought was like empty, like it either evaporated or leaked or something. And I had just bought it like a couple months ago and it was just like gone. And I didn't want to bring it up with Target. Um, if you didn't see that in the vlog, that's what happened. So I contacted the company because I didn't want to contact Target. It wasn't really their fault and I was outside the return window. So I just contacted the company just to see like if it was meant to only last like a month or two because then i wouldn't buy anymore and i explained to the lady and she was like oh we'll just send you another one like she literally didn't even ask for like any questions like proof of purchase she was like oh i'll send you another one i was like okay perfect so i just got the package which again that was like two or three days ago so this came really quick this was the product that like just completely was gone so they sent me that but then she sent me another one <laughs> and then they also sent me these two things which I'm not exactly sure what these are, but wow, they just like kind of hooked it really up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so exciting. That's so nice of them. That's like really good customer service. I appreciate that a lot. Wow, good job. Thank you. He just did the fertilizing, which was on the list that I didn't have planned for today. Can you help me pick out glasses? Um, I'm doing a no. sponsored video I and I need to pick out glasses. So, no, I need help. So I'm going to be doing a video with Tip Optical. They have actually a lot of really cool glasses, but I don't know what to pick. I swear this happens every single day. I was like, oh, I have an easy day today. I just have to like do two things and then like plan some stuff. No. Well, maybe it's because that laundry room thing just took me like three hours for no reason, but I have not edited anything. I need to edit two videos today. 
I think I've just been editing like nonstop for the last <laughs> forever. But I picked up the glasses, so I'm excited to get those. I've been wanting new glasses. Oh, I need to make dinner. And I think we might be meeting up with someone to sell something also. All right, he's doing his thing with the pizza dough. Oh, wow. Well. He's got his little <laughs> cookbook holder. It smells good. I'm going to the other ones in this first. These are kind of similar to the other ones, but they're so cute. They're like, they're like, they're really cute. They're kind of like a tortoise. But they're, they're so funny. But they're so funny. But they're really cute. They're kind of like a tortoise. Oh, is it like super mushy? Extremely mushy. Pizza is not usually super mushy like that. You're being so gentle. Yeah, because it, it's It's ripping. I mean, it doesn't matter if it does, but you always rip pizza dough. It doesn't need to be super big either. I don't have like a ton of toppings. All right, this video is uploading. This is a video all about my blue light glasses, my favorite blue light glasses, my favorite affordable blue light glasses especially. So that will not be going up for a little while, but definitely make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because there's a lot of really good ones in this video. Ken just went and sold some more things. I just took his dough out of the oven. Oh my gosh, eat the banana please. No. Yes, eat the banana. You eat it. I have been. I don't believe it. Yes. This looks really good and smells really, really good. And then since it's kind of small, I'm just like doing a little something with it. And then we're going to have something else also for dinner. But I'm cooking up some mushrooms. I think I'm going to throw some sausage in there. And then obviously just put a bunch of cheese and sauce on it. Okay. Ooh, does not look good. <sighs> yes. This looks freaking awesome. Oh. And look, you got like nice and toasty around the edges. Looks good, huh? Yeah. You want to slice it up? Oh, no, you do it. Okay. <laughs> Ken's like obsessed with this mac and cheese also, by the way, which he doesn't even like mac and cheese, so. I like the bottom of it. It looks good. For someone that doesn't like mac and cheese, he's uh, pretty into it. Yeah, I dig it. A lot of sauce on this. Why are you eating it with a fork and knife? I thought it was going to be hot and floppy. <laughs> it's definitely floppy. It's neither. It's not floppy. It's just sauce laden. All right, sweet. So I am in the middle of editing uh, video number two, and this is a long one. There's so much freaking footage. This is gonna, I don't think I'm gonna finish this today. I kind of decided to take on this video just because I knew it was gonna take a very long time to edit, but I know I'm not gonna finish it today. And plus you can kind of see over here, I'm making all these notes as I go, because I need to put notes in the description box of this video. So probably not gonna finish this, but I'm like halfway through. I don't think in the end though, I'm gonna finish everything that I wanted to do today because I didn't get around to looking at the Ikea closet thing because I spent so long on the laundry room stuff on Ikea. And then, uh, so I just moved that to a different day, which is fine. That's like literally, we're not doing that for like years. So it's really not a rush to design that. I kind of just wanted to play around with it. I feel like I'm mostly getting everything done. Again, like it's almost eight o'clock and I thought I was gonna have like an easy chill day today and I'm still <laughs> working on my to-do list. It never worked out the way that I think it's going to in the morning. And watch, probably one day I'm gonna be like, wow, I'm so busy today, and then I'm gonna end up being done so early. But, um, like I said, it's almost eight o'clock. I'm just gonna finish up this, or I'll get to a stopping point of this video. Ken and I are gonna watch some Ozark. I definitely have like some calorie room left in my budget, so I might have like a little dessert, a little snack or something, but I think that's going to do it for today, and I will see you guys tomorrow.